drone inbound. Hello everyone, there's a lot of COD Mobile competitive action happening and today we're going to go over the 10 guns that pro players use around the world. We'll be discussing why pros use it, how pros use it, and of course the gunsmith builds that you can use in ranked or scrims. Starting with the best close range weapon in the game right now, the MX-9. Pros from Japan and North America use this gun because of its ridiculous potential strafe speed depending on how you build it and of course the 3 shot capability of this gun if you equip the large caliber ammo. Pros use it to control tight areas of the map, provide entry for their team and occasionally challenge medium range gun fights. Because of how lethal it is close range, you often see this utilized by the more aggressive players on the team and wipe out people in hardpoints and close range areas. The best attachments you can use right now feature the built-in silence barrel, agile stock, infiltrator foregrip, large caliber ammo, and the Russell grip tape. This build will give you fast strafe speed with the potential to get 3-shot kills up close. It may have been nerfed this season 7, but the competitive scene from Garena and China still stayed the same. Fennec is still their go-to SMG if you had the chance to watch matches from the recent tournament livestreams. This SMG still performs good, although I think familiarity is what keeps them from using this gun, and they invested on mythic and epic blueprints, so why not use it? This gun has a similar use to the MX-9, utilizing its fire rate and damage to deal with face-to-face -face gunfights. If you have the mythic or epic blueprint, you can use the monolithic suppressor, MIP extended light barrel, RTC steady stock, TAC laser and extended mag A. Otherwise, if you want a red dot on your build, remove the steady stock for that. Garena's signature weapon, PRM262, is still in play and being used on all game modes of the COD Mobile World Championship. The one shot, one kill potential is too good to pass up, and pro players, especially the ones using gyroscope, exploit this in order to gain an advantage close range against SMGs. However, it is a double-edged sword. With how good SMGs like the MX-9 and the Fennec, if you miss a bunch of shots, your time to kill only goes higher and higher with you ending up to be a negative for your team. Pros use this to cut off enemy lanes in close range areas as well as control tight hardpoints as well. The gunsmith build is still the same with Marauder Suppressor, RTC Light Extended Barrel, No Stock, Speed Up Kill, and MIP Laser 5MW. Players from North and Latin America still use this gun and for good reasons. The PP is really huge because of its mixture of stray speed and ease of use. Tectonic is one of the better players in the competitive scene that still utilizes this SMG for competitive and he has been performing really well with it. It might get outgunned by the MX-9 and the Fennec in close range and by the Holger in longer ranges, but you have to make it work by picking your gunfights in medium range for it to be most effective. You can hold power positions and head glitches with this gun and occasionally provide entry for your team, but you really have to play it smart. The attachments you can use feature the monolithic suppressor, OWC marksman barrel, OWC skeleton stock, Stack laser and large caliber ammo. A. Take advantage of the strafe speed and it's easy to control recoil to beat enemies near range. Even after its recent nerf, the AS Val is still being used by some players in North America and China. Pros still use this gun kinda like the Bison, where it shines in medium ranges, while also having the ability to challenge close range against SMGs because of its high fire rate for an assault rifle. It has a similar damage profile to the MX-9, and that's why it's still viable for competitive this season. Pros use it to hold lanes from medium range like I said, working well with maps like Standoff and even Summit if you like. It doesn't have the same easy no fuss recoil as the Bison, but it's still pretty manageable if you ask me. Here's the build you can use, MIP 200mm mid-range barrel, OWC skeleton stock, TAC laser, Piranha foregrip, and large extended mag B. If you want to see how it performs, watch how Little B used this on Hardpoint in Standoff against Tribe Gaming on the Call Mobile YouTube channel. Another one of the guns that got nerfed in Season 7, pro players use the Holger across all regions for medium to long range gunfights. 
is like the S36 meta all over again. It's high fire rate together with its damage profile makes it a no-brainer for these players to use it. Its recoil is fairly easy to control as well and if you equip the no stock attachment to this LMG you would get really good strafe speeds. Pros use this to hold all kinds of lanes and angles, staying in power positions and head glitches. They also use this to spam and wall bang enemies hiding in corners. For the build I recommend, use the Tactical Suppressor, MIP Light Barrel, an optic of your choice, no stock, and OWC TAC Laser. Pros from Garena tend to use Monolithic Suppressor for their muzzle attachment, and since everyone has the Mythic Blueprint, they use that last attachment slot for FMJ. This gun, surprisingly, is still being used in North America and China regions. The M67 conversion of the AMAX Assault Rifle is crazy good for players with very accurate and precise aim. If you have not tried it for yourself, this gun has the potential to one tap to the head and two taps anywhere on the body. You should use this gun for a more passive playstyle because there is no way you can compete against SMGs and shotguns close range using this weapon. I see this being used more in SMD than respawns where the game is more slow paced giving you more focus to watching lanes and pre-aiming. This is one fun gun to use so try it out while it's still good enough to beat enemies. For a build you can use try the tactical suppressor, an optic of your choice, TAC laser, M67 ammo for the conversion, and granulated grip tape. Going into snipers, this is most preferred by clubable pro players around the world. It has the best hitboxes among the snipers in this list, and its consistency is what attracts main snipers to use this gun. Still has relatively fast scope in time, and its lethal hitboxes are what makes this sniper rifle solid. I suggest to use the OWC light suppressor, MIP light barrel, YKM combat stock, FMJ, and TAC laser. For a faster and a smoother scope in experience, you can use the Locust as your sniper for competitive. NYSL Mayhem's Little B used this sniper rifle to pull off a 1v4 clutch against Tribe Gaming and that says a lot for this sniper and Little B's skills, of course. It doesn't have DLQ's lethal hitbox, so it takes very good aim and crosshair placement in order to get that one-shot kill. Use this gunsmith with the YKM lightweight short barrel, OWC skeleton stock, FMJ, TAC laser, and stable grip tape. If you want to use a sniper that scopes in fast without having to wait a full second before firing another shot, Arctic 50 is the preferred sniper in Cold Mobile China and I think it's because of its ferret. Having to get another shot quickly is something that the two previously mentioned snipers don't have and Arctic 50 gives you the ability to spam if you master its recoil to relocate your target after every shot. Even though it doesn't have the best hitboxes, I personally find myself having fun using the sniper more as shown in the clips in the beginning of this video. For the build I use, it's the OWC Light Suppressor, Assassin Short Barrel, OWC Skeleton Stock, FMJ, and Stippled Grip Tape. It's funny how this gun performs like a primary weapon because Shorty is a one-shot one-kill up close. Players across all regions use this secondary by holding a corner waiting for an enemy to pass by and shoot. If they happen to get a hit marker, they do a double tap because it has good ferrate for a shotgun. Like any other shotgun, it's a high risk high reward type of weapon because if you don't kill your enemy within those two shots in the chamber, you're guaranteed to lose the gunfight. For the build, we have the Marauder Suppressor, RTC Steady Stock, TAC Laser, Tactical Foregrip A, and OWC Stable. Did I miss any guns pro players use? Let me know down in the comments below. If you want more of this type of content, be sure to leave a like and share this to your friend who wants to become a pro player. For today's question, I want to know who's going to win the Call Mobile World Champs? Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.